Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Silent Hill that has been dropped recently and it is going wild. The game optimizations are not really good and this video helps you to fix FPS drops, lags, stutter and so much more. So stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here, go down to gaming and disable game bar. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM utilization in the background and disabling so will make a headroom for your games to perform better. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, disabling notifications and unnecessary pop-ups to help you increase the priority of your game. Right beneath that, head over to graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware x related GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game and reduce your input latency while you are playing. Head back to graphics and then click on this small browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're over here, head over to SH Photo, Binaries, Win64 and select SH Photo Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on Add, head over to Options and then select High Performance and then click on Save. Once you're done with that, close your settings. Step number two is disabling startup apps and this is super simple. Search for Task Manager on your PC and once you're over here, head over to Startup Apps. In this list, you'll find a lot of applications that are installed on your PC. You have to right click on them and then click on disable and disable most of those applications that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will help you to improve your system boot up time as well as reduce the number of applications and their services running in the background since the boot of your PC and this will help you to save your system resources while you're playing the games. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and on this window look for your local disk C, click on create and name it Silent Hill just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Silent Hill FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find in six simple folders. First one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set the correct SFIO priority for your CPUs and allow them to consume more power to perform better. Go back to the main folder and head over to RAM optimization, in which you'll find a lot of RAM presets according to your PC. I use 32GB RAM, so I need to double click and use the 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, so you can select according to your PC. And if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Head over to the third folder, which is GPU optimization. And in here, you'll find in two files, that is GPU energy driver and power throttling. You have to run both of them as it is really essential to improve your GPU's performance. And if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, you have to double click in the NVIDIA SFIO high priority and this will help you to set up your NVIDIA graphic card correctly. Go back, head over to the fourth folder that is Silent Hill priority in which you'll find Silent Hill high priority. You have to double click and run this or you can right click and run this as administrator. Both of them will help you to utilize your CPU's resources and your computer's resources to prioritize Silent Hill and improve the performance. Head over to the fifth folder which is unwanted services and you'll find a ton of registry files over here. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, leave the Bluetooth service Services, but other than that disable every single one of them as they will help you to free up your RAM and CPU usage and disable unnecessary services running in the background. Once again if you want to revert any of them back you can always use this folder and revert all of them back to normal as you wish. Last is the programs folder in which I have left cache cleaner.bat you have to right click on this as administrator and this will start deleting all temporary files on your PC that are currently not in use. Don't worry this is completely safe to do so you can feel free to run it and leave it in the background. Next is memreduct you have to open it up by installing it and here is how Memreduct actually works. As you guys can see that there is a 35% usage of my RAM currently that is 11 GB out of 31.9. As soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, you guys can see that my memory usage drops down instantly. This will help you to free up your RAM and allow you to create a headroom for your games to perform way better than they actually are doing. Make sure to run it every single time you open up the game. Next is quickcpu.msi. You have to install it on your PC and then open it up. Now once it opens up, you will see a system power plan. You have to set it to ultimate 
dynamic performance or high performance if that is available on your PC and then click on set as active. Then click on the maximum performance over here and then click on accept and then click on OK and make sure that all of these sliders are set to 100%. Click on apply and then click on OK. Right over here, click on memory data and then click on clean. This will clean up your memory currently in use and it will make sure that the partitions that are not in use are freed up. This will help you to increase your memory's performance drastically. It might lag your PC for a few seconds, but that is the part of the process. Feel free to close this application and close quick CPU. Once you're done with the FPS pack, close your FPS pack as well. All right, next step is disabling Windows animations. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows on your PC. And once this pop-up opens up, you have to click on custom and then select only save ties by thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will help you to ensure the minimal look of your windows and disable all unnecessary animations which are consuming your CPU's resources. This won't impact your FPS drastically, but the next step will. So head over to the advanced tab and then for the processor scheduling, set this thing to program. For virtual memory, click on the change button over here and for the custom size, set to 1361. And for the maximum size, you have to look up for calculator on your PC. And over here, multiply your installed RAM that is, 30, that is 32 GB for me with 1024. Once you get this value, you have to divide the new value by 2 and this value has to be pasted in the maximum size. Once you're done with that, click on set, click on OK and this is how you correctly set up your virtual memory for gaming. Once that is done, click on apply. Next step is disabling all background applications and for that, look up for local group policy editor on your PC. This will only be available for Windows Pro users, so if you have a Windows Home Edition, this will not work for you. Once you're over here, head over to Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App Privacy, and over here you'll find Let Windows Apps Run in the Background. You have to double click to open this policy up and then click on Enabled to enable this policy. Default for all applications should be set to Force Deny, and this will ensure that the background applications are currently disabled. This is the step to disable background applications in Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, you can head over to Settings and disable it right from there. Once you're done with that, close this and now drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here, go over to display and graphics and for the screen, set your screen and your screen mode to full screen. Resolution should be your native monitor resolution and you can go down for ray tracing and turn this thing off. Frame rate cap should be unlimited. V-Sync should also be turned off. Super sampling, I prefer FSR 3.0 and FSR 3.0 preset to performance or quality. Both of them will work absolutely fine. Render quality preset, head over to custom and then click on advanced quality settings. This will take you over here. Now once again, for advanced quality preset, set this thing to custom, anti-aliasing, none, resolution scalability, 75%, or you can go with 100 if you have a decent computer. Shadow quality, low, texture quality, medium, shader quality, low, effects quality, low, Separate translucency off, lens flare low, global motion blur off, SSAO off, SSR off, SSS quality low, image sharpening sharpen high. Once you're done with that, press your escape key and then drop into the game. And now you guys can enjoy the best FPS possible in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button. We have also rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership. And with all that said, we'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.